look, Trump's not a conservative. He's an authoritarian narcissist. So I think they basically called him out for that. He's a populist authoritarian narcissist. So historically speaking, all of his tendencies are, you know, basically where narcissism takes him, which is whatever makes him popular, makes him feel good at any given moment. And he, and he doesn't think in, in, in classical liberal conservative terms, he thinks in, in an authoritarian way. And he's been able to get a, a, a big chunk of the Republican base to follow him because, you know, he's the culture warrior. And that is former Republican House Speaker Paul Ryan trashing Donald Trump. Ryan, who served as Speaker from 2015 to 2019, worked with Donald Trump before Trump became president. Ryan now serves on the board of Fox News' parent company, Fox Corporation. So this attack on Trump is interesting on several levels. Ryan spoke to Teneo Political Risk co-president Kevin Kajuara. Kajuara asked Ryan about Republicans Liz Cheney and Adam Kinzinger, whose political careers in the House came to an end after they stood against Trump. I think Adam and Liz um, stepped out of the the flow and called it out and, um, you know, paid for it, paid for it with their careers. But I think, again, back to my earlier point, I don't think you can be really very good at these jobs unless you're willing to lose these jobs. And there has to be some line, some principle that is so important to you that you're just not going to cross. So that when you're brushing your teeth in the morning, you look at yourself in the mirror, you like what you see. Um, I think Adam and Liz are brushing their teeth liking what they see. Um, and I think there are a lot of people in Congress, good friends of mine, who would take the vote back if they could. By take the vote back, Ryan was referring to the second Trump impeachment related to Trump's efforts to overturn the 2020 election and block Joe Biden's presidential certification. A week before the end of Trump's term, the Democratic House at the time overwhelmingly voted for Trump's impeachment. A majority of the Senate also went against Trump, but enough Republicans stood with Trump that the Senate did not reach the two thirds threshold to convict. I think a lot of these members of Congress, you know, like on the second impeachment, they thought Trump was dead. They thought after General Six, he wasn't gonna have a comeback, he was dead. So they figured I'm not gonna take this heat. I'm gonna vote against this impeachment because he's gone anyway. But what's what's ha happened is he's been resurrected. Um, there's lots of reasons for that, but he has been. So I think there's a lot of people who already regret not, you know, you know, getting him out of the, out of the, out of the way when, when they could have, you know, like an impeachment. Um, so I think history will be kind to those people who saw what was happening and called it out, even though it was at the expense of their personal well-being. And there are plenty of Republicans, aside from Liz Cheney and Adam Kinzinger, who have paid a political price in the GOP for opposing Donald Trump. Mitt Romney in the Senate, who voted for Trump's impeachment, recently announced he would not seek re-election. Romney was going to face a MAGA primary opponent in Utah. In the House, Michigan Republican Fred Upton, who has served in the House since the late 1980s, <laughs> voted for Trump's impeachment, saw the political wins afterwards, and decided not to run for re-election in 2022. So Paul Ryan is spot on. The Republican Party has remained firmly in the grips of Trump and the MAGA movement. And nearly every Republican who has opposed Donald Trump has been hurt politically in the GOP. The irony is that several Republicans loathe Donald Trump and will say as much off the record and away from the microphones or cameras. Furthermore, several Republicans who consider themselves to be moderate have privately expressed support for some Democratic legislative priorities, but have then voted against the Democratic bills because they fear getting walloped by MAGA conservatives. It would be refreshing if more Republicans showed some courage and decency, but as we've pointed out before, most GOP lawmakers seem most interested in getting reelected, and that is more important to them than standing for basic principles and integrity. Paul Ryan put it a bit more diplomatically and delicately, which underscores how he managed to climb the ranks and become Republican House Speaker. He is a deft political operator who has long managed to disagree with some colleagues without being disagreeable. Ryan has been on the Fox Board of Directors since 2019. This has rankled Donald Trump, MAGA supporters, and even some current and former Fox hosts, including Tucker Carlson. They have accused Paul Ryan of meddling behind the scenes to make Fox less supportive of Donald Trump. Ryan's record on pushing Fox away from Trump hasn't gone as well as most of us would have liked, but that's the legacy of Paul Ryan. Nice guy, thoughtful man whose influence has always been mixed. Good for Ryan, though, in speaking out. By the way, diehard MAGA House Republican Ralph Norman from South Carolina just got humiliated by a Democrat in a House hearing. I would wager a good bit of money. You give, you give him with five doctors, they would tell you the man's not there. Democrat Mary Scanlon of Pennsylvania I, I is there at this hearing, hearing and she's you. about to torch Norman. Said, have you spent any time with Mr. Biden, with the president? Good God, Did you go? No. Lord. Good God, no. No, you've been watching a little too much Fox News. Check out that video 
at the link below. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.